In this video, I'll show you how to create these really nice and functional pop-ups for your Home Assistant dashboard. I've used this Hacks integration since the beta. Since then, it has become an integral part of my main dashboard. Before we start, you will need to install it. There is a really simple step-by-step -step guide on the GitHub page. Link in the description. Start by creating a new card. Add a vertical stack card. Bubble card will make it so that this whole vertical stack is a pop-up. Add a bubble card as the first card of the vertical stack. Set the card type to pop-up. This hash setting is very important. This is the value that triggers the correct pop-up window. So for each pop-up you create, this hash has to be unique. In this example, I set it to kitchen because I make a pop-up for all my kitchen devices and sensors. Next, I give it a name and an icon. Then I add a temperature sensor. You don't have to do this, but it's nice to have the option. The rest of the settings I will just leave as is. Let me know if you want me to make another video where I explain all these settings in more detail. Then I go into the YAML editor to create the rest of the pop-up content. This really just comes down to personal preference and it really depends on what smart devices you have available. But I will show one quick example. At the end of the video, I'll show you how my actual dashboard looks as well. First, I add a grid with just one column. This might sound a bit weird, but in my case, it makes it so that margins and paddings work a bit better. The first card I add is another bubble card feature called Separator. This creates a nice headline that will group cards together. Because of my theme, I have to add some custom styling to this to make the separator line show up. Then I copy in the light card from my previous video. I realized it would look better to have a couple of light cards next to each other, so I added a two-column grid that will house my light cards. One nice trick is to select the code for the whole light card and press the tab button on your keyboard. Makes it a lot easier to get the indentation correct. Shift plus tab does the opposite. As you can see, the background color of my light card disappears with my theme. To fix this, I just have to adjust the background color of the card to a lighter color. Then I just add another separator. This time I call it sensor, and I just place a very basic card with temperature information from my fridge. I am also using this custom card called a gap card to move the separator down a tiny bit. Okay, so the pop-up window is finished, but we need some way of triggering the pop-up. I will use the room card from one of my other videos to do this. Remember that hash setting from earlier? We need this to trigger the pop-up. Go into the YAML editor of the room card and find the tap action settings. Edit the navigation path to hashtag kitchen. Save it. And that should be it. Now you just need to create pop-ups for each room. And here is an example of how my personal dashboard is set up at the moment. This is recorded from my phone. The language might be different to yours, but you get the idea. Remember, you can put whatever cards you want inside the pop-ups. In my opinion, this is a really great mobile dashboard with very little scrolling. Everything is just one click away and you don't have to navigate back and forth between subpages. Hope you liked this video. I have a lot more content coming, so if you like what I've done so far, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.